Hello everyone! A lot of viewers and followers of this channel had asked me the following question. Which version of ROS or ROS2 should I use and learn? Well, in this video tutorial I will try to provide a clear and concise answer to this very important question. I completely understand the need to ask this question. This is mainly because maybe 10 years ago when I first started learning ROS, I was really confused. There were a number of versions and I saw it online that some of them are supported, some of them they are not supported. There are a bunch of packages that are written for one version, for another version, and I was really confused. But before we answer this question, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 500 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start. First of all, let us answer the following question. What is a ROS distribution? A ROS distribution is a set of ROS packages that is usually written for a specific Linux distribution. Although some ROS distributions with several installation tricks can work on several Linux distributions. That is, ROS distribution is usually associated with a specific Linux dis distribution. Of course, there are few exceptions. Currently, we have four active ROS or ROS2 distributions. In the case of ROS, we only have a single active ROS distribution. The name of this distribution is ROS Noetic. And here is the logo. It's a turtle that sits on a rock. Then, in the case of ROS2, the situation is a little bit complex. We have three currently active ROS2 distributions. They are ROS2 Humble Huxpill, then ROS2 Irony Rvini, and we have the newest one that's released just a month ago, that is in May 2024, and the name of that distribution is ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. To summarize, currently in June 2024, an active ROS distribution is ROS Noetic, and currently active ROS2 distributions are Jazzy Jalisco, Iron Irvini, and Humble Huxpill. This is very important to keep in mind. Okay, so here is my general suggestion. Since ROS Noetic will not be actively maintained after May 2025, focus mainly on ROS2 distributions. The two ROS2 distributions that you can learn are Humble Huxpill and Jazzy Jalisco. Probably more than 90% of the code written for one ROS2 distribution will work on another ROS2 distribution. That is, with modifications, code written in ROS Jazzy Jalisco should work in Humble Hagsbill and vice versa. However, here is another suggestion that I didn't write here. Also, try to learn ROS Noetic. And in general, as I will explain at the end of this video, you should start with ROS Noetic and I will explain the reasons for that. Then you should jump to ROS2 Humble Hugs Bill. And once you master ROS2 Humble Hugs Bill with small modifications, you will be able to learn ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. Here are several important facts about ROS distributions. The support and active maintenance for most of stable ROS and ROS2 distributions follow the maintenance update periods of corresponding Linux distributions. For example, after May 2025, ROS Noetic will reach EOL. EOL stands for end of life. This is because the EOL of Linux 20.04 that ROS Noetic relies upon is April 2025. End of life or EOL for a Linux distribution is a date after which a Linux distribution is no longer supported. However, some Linux distributions are used after their EOL, especially on the older hardware. Next, let's analyze and compare release dates and end-of-life dates of different ROS distributions. Let's start with ROS Noetic. The release date is May 2020, 
and the end of life date is May 2025. This is mainly because the EOL or the end of life of Ubuntu 20.04 on which Rosno Eric relies upon is April 2025 and consequently May 2025 is EOL date for the Rosno Eric. Let's then continue with ROS2 Humble. The release date of ROS2 Humble is May 2022 and the EOL date is May 2027. ROS2 Humble relies upon Ubuntu 22.04 and the EOL date for Ubuntu 22.04 is April 2027. Next, let's talk about ROS2 Iron Irvini. The release date of ROS2 Iron Irvini is relatively recent. It is May 2023. However, notice the end of life date. The end of life date is November 2024. And notice one very important thing. This end of life date is much shorter than the end of life date of Ubuntu 22.04 on which this ROS distribution relies upon. Namely, the end of life date of Ubuntu 22.04 is April 2027. Namely, Open Robotics, which is a producer and maintainer of ROS and ROS2 sometimes publishes ROS2 distributions or ROS distributions whose lifespan is only one year and a half. Now, my suggestion is not to learn this ROS2 version mainly because its support will expire in November 2024. And finally, we arrived at the newest ROS2 distribution called Jazzy Jalisco. The release date is just a month ago, that is in May 2024, and look at the end of life date. The end of life date is May 2022, and this is five years from now. This ROS2 distribution is based on the relatively recent version of Ubuntu, that is on Ubuntu 24.04, and the EOL date for Ubuntu 24.04 is April 2022. 29. My suggestion, as I will explain at the end of this video tutorial, is to start with ROS Noetic, then focus on Humble Hugs Bill, learn ROS2 by using Humble Hugs Bill, and then continue with ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. This will be explained in more details in the sequel. I anticipate that some of you might ask me the following question. Should I focus on ROS2 since ROS Noetic will not be supported after May 2025? My answer is no. A lot of current and old hardware platforms are running ROS Noetic and it's difficult to install ROS2 on them. Also, software that works OK and without errors and is reliable is often kept alive. For example, think of Fortran or C languages. Many libraries written in them are still being used. Next, let's briefly go over the current ROS and ROS2 distributions. Let's start with ROS Noetic. You can see over here release date and EOL dates. What are the pros? Well, the main pro in my opinion is that a lot of packages are written and tested for ROS Noetic and ROS Noetic is the final version of ROS. There were maybe five or six or even more ROS versions or ROS distributions prior to this ROS distribution and people were perfecting them over time and consequently they arrived at ROS Noetic. That is, ROS Noetic works just fine and ROS Noetic can run on almost all hardware platforms including Raspberry Pi, Arduino, ESP32, etc. Also, a very important thing is that ROS Serial Arduino library is written for ROS Noetic and ROS2 is not supported by this library. Also, launch files are easy to write. Of course, there are a number of pros. However, I ju I'm just briefly go going over the main pros and cons. So what are the cons? The main disadvantage, if, it, if we can call it like that, is that the support will stop in May 2025. And moreover, this ROS version is based on a bit outdated Linux distribution. That is, it's based on Ubuntu 20.04. And Ubuntu 20.04 will soon become obsolete. Next, let's continue with ROS2 Humble Hugs Bill. What is the main pro? Well, 
The main pro is that this is not a recent ROS2 version. This means that there are a number of tested packages for this version. Also, we have at least three years of support. Notice the end of life date, 2027. This means that you can start learning this version and maybe you will need six months to become relatively okay and that you know how to use ROS2. And then you will have two and a half years to develop your own packages and your software. And then you will be able to easily migrate to another ROS2 version. So what is the main con? In my opinion, not all, all platforms can run ROS2. Also, you cannot run ROS2 on, by using Arduino ROS serial library. In this case, you will have to use run, you will actually have to use micro ROS library to run ROS2 on Arduino. Okay, let's continue. How about ROS Humble Hacks build? I don't see any pros, to be honest. This is mainly because the end of life date is November 2024. Now, again, the standard cons apply also to this ROS2 version. This means that not all, all platforms can run ROS2. Also, you cannot run Arduino ROS serial library on ROS2. You need to run MicroROS. The support for this version will expire in 2024. Suggestion, skip this version. And finally, we arrive at ROS Jazzy Jalisco. And finally, we arrived at the ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. So what is the main pro? The main pro that this is a ROS2 version with a long-term support. You can see that the EOL date is May 2029. Now, if you start learning ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco today, you will need maybe six months to learn it, and after that you will have four and a half years to develop your own packages. However, what are the main cons? Well, not all old platforms can run ROS2. Also, you cannot run Arduino ROS serial library, and you will need to run micro ROS, and micro ROS is difficult. And another very important disadvantage, and I'm talking this from the perspective of the current time, which is June 2024, is that packages have to be migrated and tested for this ROS2 version. That is, this is still new ROS2 version and some time is necessary for the packages to be migrated and tested. And let's summarize everything I explained so far. So my suggestion is start learning ROS Noetic. This is a classical ROS environment and it's very important to understand it. So start here, then continue with ROS2 Humble Hacks Bill. You can use ROS2 Humble Hacks Bill to learn the basics of ROS2, and you, will might, you might need at least six months to do that. Meanwhile, people will develop and test packages for ROS2 and migrate the packages from Humble Hacks Bill to ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, and then maybe after six months, you can continue with ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. My experience is that almost 90% of code is identical between two different ROS2 versions. There is a bigger difference between ROS and ROS2 versions. However, when we talk about ROS2 versions, the code is almost the same. There are a few modifications. Okay, that's all for today.